It was a lovely day in the land of the orange sky. Like usual, they got up, they got dressed, they had breakfast, breakfast was quite delicious. Of course, they were saying what they do, and they basically could not figure out what to do. They didn't know what to do at all. Okay, they were standing around, and they just couldn't figure out what to do. They were bored. They did not know what to do. So, dear King I dear, how about we go to another floating island, honey, and to Florida? And they said, okay, we'll do that. Basically on their walk, basically nothing interesting happened. So again, they were bored, so they decided just to go back to the flying castle and get out of here. Okay, it was late at night. Everyone was asleep and they woke up in the middle of the night. He decided to go outside hunting to get a breath of hair, her hair, hoping that it would make him tired. Okay, do we have to try getting a breath of hair, hoping it would make him tired? But then he noticed something up in the sky. Was something going to happen? He did not know. The bird basically spoke to David and said, David, I'm going to take you to the moon. David said, okay. The bird said, I'll take you to the moon right now. David said, how are you going to do it? The bird said, I'll take you to the moon right now. Right now, now I'm going to make you at the moon. David said, how are you going to do it? The bird said, stop. I'm going to take you to the moon right about now. And this time, I mean it. David said, do you know where we are? The girl said, I'm the moon girl. We're on the moon. But I don't want you on the moon. So I'm going to let you fall down to the sky. David said, will I die? The moon girl said, no, you won't die. You'll be really fine. I'll make certain you stay fine. I like you, David. Dear said, thank you. <laughs> the next thing happened was basically that. Dear found himself hiding in his own bed and in his own room. So he tried to get the sleep behind and he barely did get the sleep and he was happy with his sleep. It was the next day and it was a lovely day. They were basically already up and they were having breakfast to get her but her was quite delicious. I hope they decided to hunt to play a game hide and go seek around the castle. But David didn't remember that dream he had and he didn't tell his friend about that dream and they believed him that he had that dream. I'm so happy that I got you. You're so happy that you got me. Without you, there would not be an ending. 
So I like you from the bottom of my heart And all without you There'll be no me The sun will not be shining in my life Because I don't have you But when I have you Unhappy I can be So I thank goodness I got you indeed Oh, I thank you a lot, indeed. Really made my day a dream for who indeed. And without you, there would be no me. There'd be no me at all. Without you, there's no me, indeed. So I thank you, I got you, indeed.